Thank you for joining me once again on Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I will show you how to write equations using the equation editor. On the screen, I have four equations and I will guide you through on how we can replicate them using the equation editor. Once you know how to use the equation editor, you will realize that it makes the way you write your equation come out nicer. And with time, the more you practice, the better you become. So let's get started. We'll start with the first one. Let's see how we can replicate this. So I go to insert, I maneuver to equation. There you can see different equation tools. And here you have different symbols that you can insert when you are writing your equations. So the first thing I type here because I want to repl replicate this is Y. So I type in Y equals capital A. Then I need to look for a script that is a design that has a superscript. So I come to script, I click here, and I select superscript. Inside the bigger box, I type in L, and in the superscript, I type in A. Next, I need K to the power of one minus alpha. All I can do, I'll just edit L to the power of alpha, and I'll modify. So that's copy, I paste it, I edit L, I type in K, and the superscript, I just put one minus. So you can see, neatly done. So let me move this to the left. I go back home here and I click and line left. Done. Let's attempt the second one. Same way, I go to insert. I click on equation. So right here, I type in LN. I don't want it italicized, so I highlight and I do control I. Next, I need a design with a subscript. So I go to script. I click here and I select this design, subscript. In the bigger box, I type in Y. In the subscript, I type IT. I push the cursor out a little bit with the right arrow on the keyboard and I put equal sign. Next, I need A naught. So I need a subscript. So I come here, I select subscript again and I type A with subscript 0. I put a plus sign. I need another A subscript 1, then log of KIT. So from here, I can just begin to do copy and paste. So I copy alpha naught. I put it here and I edit the not there to one. So I don't have to go back to the design tools menu. I need a log KIT. So I come back here where I have my log YIT. I copy, I paste it and I edit Y to K. I put my plus sign. Then I copy the alpha one because I need alpha two. I copy and I paste here. I edit one to two. So here I need both superscript and subscript. This is X prime IT. So I go to script and I select this one that has both superscript and subscript. So inside here, I type in X. In the superscript, I type in the apostrophe. And in the subscript, I type in IT. From then on, it's pretty simple. This is gamma I, subscript I. I can just type in alpha naught. I can just copy in alpha naught and edit it. So I need gamma, gamma i. So I come here and see if I can get gamma here. So here I have gamma. I click on it. So from here I can edit. I cut it out from there. I paste it here where I need it. And the knot, I change to i. I put my plus sign. So next I need a phi t. So I need to copy this gamma i, which I can edit. I paste it. So I highlight and I click here. There's a phi here. So that changes to phi. And the subscript i, I change to t. And lastly, I need u subscript i t. I can easily get that from any of this. So I can just copy my k i t and paste it. Edit the k to u. You can see it's all done now, replicated. So I move it to the edge. I go back here, home, and I click align left. You can see, neatly replicated using the equation editor. Let's do the third one. We go to insert. We click on equation. So the first thing we have to insert is a difference operator, which is this. We click on that. Next is a CR with the subscript T. So I come with, I go to script and I click here, subscript. Just the way we've been doing. So in the bigger box, I type CR, subscript T equals sign. So we have alpha naught. So I can easily come here, copy the CR T and edit. Change the CR to A and the T to zero. I need the minus sign and I need gamma. So I come here and look for gamma. 
if it's there. So this is gamma. I click on it. So now I have this equation in brackets. I can use several ways to get here. So I can open my bracket or I can use the bracket option here. So let's use the bracket option. I click bracket here and I select whichever one I want. You can see several designs are here. So let's pick this one, the first one. So I have it here. So in this bracket, I'm going to do a lot of things. I'm going to put my CR with a subscript T minus one and this entire equation. That is very easy. All I need to do, I come back here because I have something I can edit here. So I just copy and come back here and I change. I modify the T to T minus one and I have my minus sign. I need to put a theta there. So this is theta. And remember, I still have this, my CRT, which I can edit to XT. So I highlight that, I exit, I edit to XT. You can see it's very simple. I put my plus sign. So next, I need to use the summation operator. So you can see here, large operator. I click here. You can see for summations, you can see for products, you can see for unions. So I need for summation. And you can use different designs as applicable. Whatever you want, you can use. So I'm going to use this one. Or I could use this one. So let's click on this. So first, I need to put my P minus 1. And here, I put my I equals 1. And in this box, I need to put this entire equation right here. So I need a superscript. I need the difference operator and another design with a superscript. Very easy. All I need to do is just to modify whatever I have before. So first thing first, I can take alpha naught and edit it. I put it here. Then where I have alpha, I need the omega symbol. So let me come here and see if I can get omega. It's right here. I click on it. And for the subscript, I modify zero to CRI. CRI. Next, I put the difference operator, which is this. And I have my CRT minus one, which I can easily take from here. I copy it and I paste here. Next, I put plus sign and I wrap it up with epsilon. So I can just still copy my CRT minus one and I change this to epsilon. Let me see what I can get epsilon here. It's right here. And here I have height, which I can easily edit. So you can see we have replicated the third one easily. I move it to the left easily replicated let's take the last one so similar to what we've been doing all along i click on insert equation so inside the small type equation here box i type in my log i don't want it utilized so i highlight and i do ctrl i next i go back to insert and i select brackets so now i need a design that has a subscript so right here i click on this and i go to insert equation i go to script and i select subscript so you can see here now that i have a subscript within this bracket so in the bigger one i type in h and the small one i type in t i maneuver the cursor at i outward i put my equal sign then i look for the phi symbol from here i open this box and i check whether i can get a phi yes phi is here so i put the plus sign now i need to use the summation operator I come back here and I have this large operator just the way we did before. I can select anyone that I desire. So let me select this one. So here I have Q just replicating what I have before. So I have I equals one. Try to follow me. And here I have eta I. So same thing I can do here. I can go back to my HG, Control C, come here and just modify this to eta. Let me come back here and see whether I can get eta. I can't get eta here, but I can get it under symbols. And I click on symbols and here I can see eta. So I copy out my eta, it's here. So I just cut it out, Control X. So I bring back my eta here. I need it here. And where I have T, I put my I. So next, I go back to insert equation so i need brackets for this equation here i go to brackets i select this one with the straight bars i click on it now i need to replicate whatever is here in this small space so first thing i observe is that this is a division sign so i come here where i have fractions i click on it so i can decide to choose any format of fractions i want so i pick the first one so you can see that we have a fraction now in the straight bars. So next, I need to find a design that has a subscript. So 
So I go back to script, I click on this numerator, and I click this subscript. So I need to type in my u t minus 1. u subscript t minus 1. And in the denominator, I need a radical. As you can see here, this is root h t minus 1. So I go back to the menus and I click on radical. So I need a root sign. So I pick the first one. So this is a root sign. I click inside the small box for me to find a subscript that can accommodate my h t minus 1. So I click on this and I have h t minus 1. I maneuver the cursor outward. I put my plus sign. Same way I did the summation. I click here, large operator. I pick this one. So here I type in Q. Just similar to what we did before. I have I equals 1. And here I have lambda I. So I can easily go back here and just copy eta I and modify my lambda. So from the symbols, I can easily get lambda from the symbols here. Lambda is not there, so I go back to insert i click on this symbol and i pick lambda from here so that's good so next i go back to insert again click on equation now i need division from here i click on the first one so just similar as what i did before i just need to come here and just copy my ut minus one i don't need to go back to the menu i paste it in the box and for the denominator same thing i have my root ht minus one I'll just copy it out and paste it. I maneuver the cursor as word. I put my plus sign. So for the summation, I go back to large operator and I type in P and I have K equals one. And here I have theta K. So I need a subscript. I go back to script. So I need to find theta from the list of symbols here, from the options here. So I have um, theta in the subscript, I type K. Then I type in log. I don't want it to lie, so I do control I. So right here, I can just come back here and copy the bracket. Where I have bracket HT, copy to the end and just modify. So I have HT, I just put minus K in front. So you can see, very easy to use the equation editor. I have shown you how you can easily master the art of writing equations. So stop writing your equations by just typing from the keyboard. Learn to use the equation editor to write out your equations. They make your work uh, better, they make your work look presentable, and they make your equations, uh, they make them clearer and neater. That will be all in this tutorial on how to write equations using the equation editor. Once again, I appreciate your support and for those who have shared my links with their students and the academic community. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with more interesting videos.